Creating a route that works for you on Jobber is fantastic. It can really speed up your workflow and allow you to get a lot more work done in a workday. Today, I'm going to show you how to customize as well as optimize that route feature. So let's do it. So there are a few ways to do this. And we're going to go over to the right hand side. You'll see the gear icon and you're going to go to settings. Now from settings on the left, you'll see there are quite a few options. We're going to look for route optimization. Now, this route optimization will basically allow you to do two things. Either you can manually create routes, which means you can do as you want with your route for your day. And then you can also um, optimize this and um, you can use basically the jobber settings and um, you can have these routes created to be the most convenient. But um, if you want to do this yourself, it is best because you know what your work plans are and you also know how your team moves around and what is more important. So the first option, which would be to automatically do this, is clicking on optimize on the top right hand side and you're going to just say optimize route and this will replace the master route, which is what your current route is. So as you can see, I've only got three locations here, but this is how it has been optimized. Okay, so this is fantastic. This is a nice way to just like, with one click, get a completely optimized route, which would pretty be pretty much be good. However, if you really want to customize this, you can actually go ahead and click on each one of these properties, you can see over here, and you can insert at this point, you can actually create your first point. So this is where it's going to be starting. And then you can go down and you can actually create additional um, markers as you are moving along. Now, if you go and click on save over here, you can actually also just reset this route. So I'm going to reset it for now, just to show you how to do it manually. So as it says over here, click on the pin where you wish to start planning your master route. Now, the master route will be something that will not be reset unless you manually reset it. So over here on the map, I'm going to click on this one, and we're going to click on start routing from here. Now, of course, if I have more than three locations, I can really go and click on wherever I want to move to next. But for now, I'm going to click on this one. You can see it has made a line there, which means that is the beginning of the route. And we're going to click on this one. That is the addition. And then you can go up over here and click on save. You'll see now that this is actually your new route. And you can actually just click on it again. Uh, you can also remove these points from your route. And basically, this is a nice way of just organizing your day to day activities with people out on the field.